Yeah, self-determination, the ability to call their own shots is really important for Oklahoma tribes. And here at the First Americans Museum, they say that can be seen now and will be seen for years to come. There was a transformation in tribes all across this country after self-determination. The act itself was passed. An event to remember and learn from previous presidential efforts. Over time, tribes have progressed and have been able to improve conditions and are making decisions for themselves. The Richard Nixon Foundation and the Chickasaw Nation partnered together to host a discussion about self-determination. The foundation says all of Nixon's work during his presidency to help tribes came from the influence of his childhood, including a mentor who was Native American. He had decided, based on his own personal experiences as a, as a young man, that what was happening in America and what had happened for centuries to the American Indian population was wrong. Prior to Nixon's efforts, tribal leaders say there wasn't many opportunities for them to do what they want. It was a very tumultuous period when tribes were at, the, at the, they really were subject to the federal government pretty much. Now these leaders and the foundation say there is work for all parties involved to continue progressing efforts. You have to know where you've been in order to know where you're going. They are the beneficiaries of this work from 50 plus years ago. Uh, and, and so it's up to them to carry their nations forward. Now, there were many tribes in attendance, and they say some of the things that self-determination helped out in making was the Cherokee Nation's Medical School in Tauquah and even the First Americans Museum right here. In OKC, Dakota Wapakichi, KOCO 5 News.